afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Wheel here, and welcome back to another quick Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, we are talking about the different cadet insignia. I had never made a video about this before, and I'm not really sure why, because it's it's kind of an important thing to learn, and I feel like that would be really good to cover. So I'm covering it in this video, and I actually have a nice little whiteboard here that I'm going to be able to show you my beautiful drawings with. It'll be delightful. So I'm going to show you the abbreviated grades. We'll talk a little bit about terms of address. I did make a customs and courtesies video on terms of address, which I'll link up in the iCard too. But this video is primarily focusing on what the insignia look like and just walking you through that process. For the cadet insignia, all of them on the NCO side, so like cadet airman through cadet chief master sergeant, are exactly the same as the Air Force's structure. And they're exactly the same as the number of chevrons and rockers, which I will talk about what those mean in a little bit. The same number of chevrons and rockers um, between the two different sets of grade. Okay, so that's going to be very easy. And then with the cadet officer side, it's a little bit different, but the terms of address and the way that they are called is very similar to the Air Force's structure as well. So we'll be jumping in here with the first one. Um, so basically the insignia is kind of like a, a pentagon here in the middle and then it's got like the prop-ish. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect guys, I'm, I'm trying here, but it's not, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the drawings. So the first one, that you can achieve is one stripe. And I have talked about this one before. This is the Curry achievement. And anyone who is obtaining this is a cadet airman. And it's abbreviated C slash A M N, no periods. When you are doing correspondence, like written correspondence, this is how it should look. It shouldn't look any different than that. And when, the, when there are publications made with grades, it's a little bit different, but when you're like writing an email to someone, that's how you would refer to them. That would be Cadet Airman. Next, you got your second achievement. You get the second stripe that is Cadet Airman First Class, and that is a Cadet A1C, okay? And then we've got our third, here, that is Cadet Senior Airman. And Cadet Senior Airman is the last achievement in phase one before going for the Wright Brothers achievement, which is achieve like the next achievement, which is the first milestone, I should say. And that's the Wright Brothers, which means you get to get to the NCO grades. And so that's gonna be four. Oop. I'm going to uh, erase the, the phase one insignia names. And so then we've got cadet staff sergeant. Okay, so that's four of these. And then we've got a fifth one underneath. That is cadet tech sergeant. And I just wanted to say that I mentioned chevrons and rockers. These things are underneath, they're called rockers. So if you think of like a rocking chair, the, the kind of like bent portion of the rocking chair on the bottom that makes it rock, that's what rockers are because they're shaped like, like that, okay? So the maximum you can have underneath is five. And then you move on to the senior NCO grades where you start adding these things called chevrons. So that, anything above is called a chevron. Okay, so that is going to be cadet master sergeant. Okay, so senior NCOs start at cadet master sergeant and then they go Cadet Senior Master Sergeant, which means you, you add a second one on top here. And then the last one 
is Cadet Chief Master Sergeant. So any of these, you can refer to them as sergeant. Um, typically, I will say their full grade. So if someone is a cadet staff sergeant, I'll say cadet staff sergeant Smith. Or I'll say cadet chief master sergeant Jones. You can refer to them as chief if they are a chief. Um, that's just something that some people use. Um, some people use senior for senior master sergeant. Mo mostly like on the senior member side, people refer to senior master sergeants as senior. Um, but I, I've seen cadets called that too. Um, sometimes you will see a diamond in here. Just for your situational awareness, that is referred to as the diamond that represents someone who is a unit first sergeant. First sergeant is not technically a term of address. So if someone is a first sergeant, and like let's say this is their insignia, you would still call them chief. There isn't, like, you wouldn't call them, like, First Sergeant Yoda, right? It, it would be Chief Yoda or Cadet Chief Master Sergeant Yoda, okay? So, those are the NCO insignia. That is the Phase 2 of Civil Air Patrol's cadet program. Then you move on and you complete your Mitchell. The Mitchell is the second milestone of the program, signifying moving into phase three of the cadet program. And I was talking about the Air Force's insignia. The, the cadet officer insignia do not at all resemble Air Force style. They just don't. So you ready? I will assume you are ready. Ta-da. <laughs> So <laughs> this is Cadet Second Lieutenant. Ta -da. This is a this is a pip. Yes. So one pip, you got your Mitchell, you get a circle, and you actually get to wear it on your shoulders when you're in blues, and then you have actually fabric insignia that you sew onto the collar, which is a whole challenge, which I have made a video on that. It's very exciting times. Then you get a second pip for Cadet First Lieutenant. Okay, so don't get confused. I know it's confusing. For Second Lieutenant, it's one. For First Lieutenant, it's two. Okay? Don't get confused by it. I, I'm sure you'll be fine. But this is the, the phase three of the cadet program. Once you get to Cadet Captain, which is adding a third pip, that is completing your Earhart achievement, which is the third milestone, and that's transitioning into getting ready for the, the phase four. So just to summarize how the milestones work, from Cadet Airman to Cadet Senior Airman, that's the phase one of the, the cadet program. From Cadet Staff Sergeant to Cadet Chief Master Sergeant, those are all in phase two of the cadet program. Then from cadet second lieutenant through the end of cadet first lieutenant, that is phase three, when you complete your air heart and you move in through the rest of the achievements for the remainder of the cadet program, that's phase four. And getting your, your spots is like the, the pinnacle of the program. Then we move on to additional insignia and it's the diamonds. Some people were like, I'm seeing diamonds. This is Cadet Major. That's one diamond. Two diamond is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel. And then three diamond is Cadet Colonel. Cadet Colonel is the highest you can go in the cadet program. And that's the, the spots award. So it's, it's pretty straightforward going through all the cadet insignia. If you have trouble memorizing it, it's okay. It'll take a little bit of time to adjust, but as you become more familiar with the cadet program, as you get to know people and you learn wearing your uniform and everything, I think it becomes pretty second nature to just be able to look and be like, ah, yes, that is 
cadet captain. Ah, yes, that is a cadet technical sergeant. It, it's it's pretty straightforward af after learning these things. But it takes time and it takes experience. So, do your best to remember those things. And if, if you ever forget, you can always come back and revisit this video. And there's also a bunch of tools and resources out there available for cadets to memorize insignia. So, if you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and that is all, folks. Until next time. Toodles.